Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through some problems with clustering and applications of clustering guys. Okay. So first let us go through the problems. Okay. So the cluster membership may change over time because of dynamic data in databases. So basically assume that these are some values of some variables guys. Okay. Yes. So here the values are greater than one, less than one and equal to zero like that. Right. Okay. So in this situation, if there is a change in the value while running the program or if someone updates it in that situation, this value should go there. Right. So the clusters might change. Right. Yes. So that is the reason why these things should be whenever there is any kind of dynamic update, there could be an issue guys. Okay. So the handling of outlier is a difficult process. So outliers in simple words, you can say errors guys or noise, you can say. Right. So in some data, we might be having some noises and all those things. Right. Yes. So those things are removing them is a bit tough guys. Okay. Similarly, there may not be only one single correct answer. So basically in clustering, we cannot say which cluster is the best among two. So basically if there are two different clusterings of same size, then count of the clusters are same guys. Here also we are having three clusters. See, let us take an example. Okay. Okay, so here there is one point and here there is one point. Okay, so first time you took in this way guys. Okay, and the other time you took in this way. Okay. Yes, so inside cluster the values are different. If you notice here there are only four here there are five. So here even though they look same they work the same but internally the answer might not match with your friends, right? So your friend is drawing this and you are drawing this. You both solve with the same method but you ended up with two different results. So this might be an issue, right? There is no single correct answer anytime guys. Okay. Sometimes it may lead to complex calculations. So there could be some tougher calculations also, right? Yes. So now let us go through the applications of clustering guys. So in simple words, you can say clustering can be applied anywhere guys. So wherever you want to analyze the data and to give some answers based on those things, we'll be using this clustering guys. So in marketing segmentation of customers are based on their behavior. So we want to separate the customers based on their behavior. So he is a, he, he will buy electronics. He will buy groceries. He will buy vegetables. He's a non veg guy like that. You will be dividing them, right? So that is nothing but market segmentation guys. Okay. Similarly, banking, any kind of a fraud detections can be done. Okay. Similarly, ATM classification. So segmentation, how the series of data is coming and everything. Okay. So gene analysis, like uh, the genes of uh, humans like diseases and all those things we can identify similarly insurance okay like that we are having multiple examples guys which you can just remember the names and you can write in your examination okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the clustering so in the next lecture we'll be going through basic clustering methods guys okay we'll be giving some some introduction about each and every one also don't worry okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching